Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do click the like, share, and subscribe button. <laughs> this is a Virgo channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits and leave the rest. And personal reading link is below this video. Also, you can follow me on Facebook. The link is also below. All right, Virgo, so we're going to take a look at the month of March to see what the love messages are here for you. Okay, you've got paradise, the golden mirror, and karmic relationship. Okay, Virgo, a relationship that really felt like, for some of you, perhaps this was the end all be all, uh, turned out to be a karmic relationship. Okay, maybe somebody lives where there's palm trees, um, somebody you're connecting with, or could be connecting with in March, which let me try to stick with going forward. Um, I feel like be careful. Um, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. <laughs> okay, um, there's a lot of love bombing coming up here. Um, so if you're Virgo, someone who's dating or, you know, connecting with people, um, I feel like don't, I feel like they're saying don't rush in too fast. Um, you want to make sure that this is not a karmic kind of situation. Um, if anything, there will be lessons to be learned um, about letting go and loving yourself. Some of you might be rushing into a relationship in March where you don't have perhaps all of the full healing that's needed. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, it just kind of gives me this, like this feeling of you meeting somebody or connecting with someone where the connection might go too quick or this might just feel like it's a little too good to be true, okay? Um, so I feel like the overall message just with those three cards here um, is just to be very careful of somebody who is love bombing you, make sure they have good intentions with you. You might like at this point already be connecting with someone who's doing that. I'm not saying like, oh, every person you meet that shows you love and affection is, you know, going to be somebody who's deceptive. It's just a message to be, um, have your wits about you because I do feel like you might come across someone if you aren't already who is just kind of pushing you perhaps into a relationship or pushing you into connecting in a way that um, might be too quick for you. It, it just feels like a message of being careful, okay? Um, let's take a look and see what other messages there are here for you in regards to love. Okay, so you're definitely, you have the hangman, Virgo, so... You're definitely on a spiritual path and beginning here in your life, especially in March, to see things a little bit differently. Um, some of you taking off your rose-colored glasses or maybe just not making them so tinted, maybe removing some of the tint so that you can see things a little more clearly. I, f I do feel like with the Hanged Man, and this is Piscean energy, becoming more spiritual within yourself. Okay, and... Yeah, really just getting that wisdom, getting a different perspective of things, okay, which is good. So it feels like if you're out there dating or if you're meeting other people, getting to know people, it, um, I feel like you have maybe don't need that warning. It's already a sense of like you're seeing things a little bit differently. It's not like everything is negative, right? You've got temperance, Sagittarius energy. So you're pretty much taking things in stride, balancing things out. I feel like you've done the healing work and now, or you're just like coming to terms of enlightenment. And now you're really beginning to kind of be a bit more tempered and even keeled and taking things um using like having patience and self-control okay much more in balance in march and more much more in harmony where your thoughts and your intuition and your heart are in alignment which is really great i really like that i like the energy that you're you're possessing at this time look at you no doubt there you are nine of pentacles so virgo it feels to me like you are really you've got yourself in a great position right here 
this is lovely. Independent, you're solo, single, um, very stable. You are in a place or will be getting yourself in a place of um, good fortune, okay? Um, very self-sufficient. I see you having your financial gains as well. Um, I like the energy. These three cards are perfect for you, Virgo, and this is your Virgo card, right? So, uh, Virgo, you're kind of in this position now where it's like you can see the forest through the trees. <laughs> um, you're not gaslighting yourself. You know what's what. You know if something, like I said, seems too good to be true. You're kind of like slowing something down in March, taking your time, not rushing into anything with anyone, okay? So that's great. That's great. Let's see what else is going on here for you, Virgo. Okay. Oh my gosh, you have so many great cards in March. So you've got the star. This is beautiful. Um, this is definitely healing. Some of you being in the spotlight. Some of you are just really like coming into full, like all your energy here. Okay, this is renewal. You have your inner clarity. Um, it's like a miracle for some of you. Never, I heard somebody say, never thought you could get to this place. You, you're regaining your faith again. Um, I love it. I just love it. It's definitely renewal and getting your hope back, okay? And, you know, just make sure, it feels like the message spirit wants you to know is everything in balance, everything in harmony. Um, try not to swing the pendulum too far. Like I was saying, connecting with someone, because I do feel like you will connect with someone in March. Um, just because somebody is connecting and showing affection and love, you really have to just suss it out, I feel. Um, where it's like, okay, let me, it, you, if you don't rush into anything, then I feel like you'll have time and space to really be able to assess somebody else's actions towards you. Um, I feel like there might be a small tendency. Some of you might not want to get back out there um, in love just because it's like you don't want to go through. Perhaps there was a karmic relationship in the past or, you, or some of you fear like the things that you've done in the past. This could be karma for you in a negative way. Connecting with someone, you could connect with a Pisces, Sagittarius, or an Aquarius. All right, let me see what other messages. Okay, yeah. So Two of Swords is definitely an energy for you where you're going to be trusting your gut and your intuition about the decisions that you make going forward. So it's like the ball's in your court here. It, it feels to me like you're going to be able to pace yourself in March. It feels like you're going to be able to kind of like take your time making decisions. And if you need to take time to yourself to block uh, um, or push out, some of you are just not taking any more advice from other people. And some of you are just legit like doing something on your own. You're basically like, I'm going to make this decision myself. I'm going to trust what my gut tells me because nobody else is in my shoes. Nobody else is walking around with my intuition, my feelings, my thoughts. I'm going to start trusting myself. I'll hear what other people have to say, but I'm the final like the, the, the buck stops with me. I'm the final decision maker. And if it's a right or wrong decision, it doesn't matter because what's important is I'm learning to trust myself. And this is really good because it speaks of agency and autonomy for you, right? And so when it comes to love or love relationships, it's more about what's going to work for you at this point. Okay, how you're going to get your needs met, what's going to work for you at this point. Okay, let me take a look because I do feel like somebody will be coming in. All right, that wanted to flip and it didn't. Let's take a look and see um, about this person coming in in March because, you know, we all meet people. Okay, we had a jumper. Ooh, all right, the emperor. <laughs> this is beautiful. Male or female energy. Okay, Aries energy here. So this is someone showing up either in military or they work or they, they're at the top of their field. Okay, this is definitely someone who's either older or they have a lot of, they're aged in wisdom. Um, this person could already be a father or a mother. They could be a parent is what I mean to say. Um, they could have grown kids already. They may not be. They could be single and they could just be someone who is kind of like at the top of their industry, at the top of their their um, 
the top of the, the in their work, uh, like a, in a high leadership position. Okay, let me see what else. So yeah, you definitely have an Aries or someone Mars ruled showing up here. Okay, so seven of pentacles. So this person shows up. Hmm. This okay. This person coming in. Virgo, this is not someone that rushes in. So I do get a sense that you connecting with this person, I don't know that they're going to be love bombing you. I do kind of get a sense that they will be showing affection and maybe a little bit over the top, but it's not like the emperor to do that. So there may be a little bit, but I feel like you might be a little sensitive to somebody who is like that only because perhaps you were in a karmic relationship where it was very one-sided and it felt like it was paradise, but then everything came crashing down. Okay, the emperor shows up as someone who is very authoritarian, but also um, well-respected and also someone who is basically um, like, they're, they're good. Like they're a good, they're reliable. They're someone that... Um, they just gave me, okay, here we go with the songs. So I'm getting a very old song here, Father Figure from <laughs> George Michael. <laughs> and I am not singing that because I could never possibly sing like George Michael did. But um, I don't know, they're giving me that song. Does that mean this person's coming in as like your daddy? <laughs> well, I mean, okay, for some of you, if that's what you like, I mean, they could be. Um, for the guys, it would just be the opposite, you know, like a, a mother figure or something. Um, but it's an element of even if they're very, this person is very protective, very strong, quiet, silent type. Okay. Um, very strong. Uh, yeah. I just kind of feel like someone who, oh gosh. Yeah. So they do have a very sweet side though. I feel like you need to know that. I, listen, things have changed here a little bit. I feel like you have maybe a little bit of fear um, because I don't know, you guys, it's kind of like out there now in the dating world, it's rough. There's so many fake people. Um, there's a lot of um, fear mongering going on there with dating again, or getting out there and meeting people because there's, you know, Virgo, you're definitely a little hesitant um, because you don't want to get yourself back in a relationship with someone who is very self-centered, selfish, um, and gives to get in the sense where they manipulate you to get something in return. You're not looking for that. I don't feel like whoever's coming in here is going to be doing that to you, but I feel like you're at the end of the day, it's going to be a decision that you're going to have to make. Like you have to be able to suss it out and I feel like you will be able to. Okay. So you've got the five of cups and that fell sideways. So there's definitely an energy of healing from some kind of grief and remorse here. All right. Let's take a look more so at you. That could be you. This could, it could also be the other person. Um, maybe you knew this person in the past and there's a change and a shift in their behavior. Um, the emperor, whenever I see that, that's the card of like leveled up energy. You may get a communication or a message. Some of you will from someone. It could be an apology as well from someone from your past. There is this element of like coming through the grief stage. It's like being halfway through. Okay. Being halfway through the sadness is lifting in March. Um, you're coming through. There's like, I'm just hearing a light at the end of the tunnel. If you were in um, a difficult, if you had a difficult separation or split, okay, the light is at the end of the tunnel, like you're halfway there, Virgo. Don't give up before the miracle happens. Okay. Yep, there you go. There's your strength. You're getting stronger. You're definitely getting stronger, Virgo. Becoming more confident, getting your courage back, becoming more courageous, able to tame the beast within. <laughs> All right, let me see. Okay, almost wanted to come out and said no. Leo energy here. Okay, yep, you're still a little hesitant though, Virgo. Nine of Wands, like I said, that's okay. That's okay. Some of you have been through a war zone. Um, you're 
broke, busted, and disgusted, and you're you're coming back up, you're healing, and I don't mean that in a negative way, but the Nine of Wands is like you're you've got your boundaries up for sure. Um, I don't feel like you're going to scare anybody away with that. I feel like that's the way it should be. Um, no boundaries would scare somebody away, I think. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that nine of wands energy for you, Virgo, I, I feel like you're, you're still kind of in protective mode for sure, but you're, you're definitely moving forward with the chariot. Like it looks like you have a plan of action. Okay. Um, I'm feeling some very yin yang energy here. Some of you might be thinking about traveling at this time. Um, this is just action and change. That's really what I feel with the chariot. Okay. Um, you're on a journey and you, but you're, you're not running it's it's not a sprint it's a marathon nine of wands energy so you're coming into a good place and I feel like as you're you know shifting transitioning um, dipping your toe back in the water again here I do feel like um, you're a little bit hesitant like I said you're baby stepping it but you're definitely on a good path and I feel like this person coming in um, they're not rushing in, okay? So I feel like the fear might be a little bit because of maybe some past stuff, okay? Past could have been a recent breakup. Past could have been way deep in the past. We have magician energy here, so we do have cancer. We do have Gemini. Um, yeah, and it kind of feels like, you know, Virgo, for some of you, you're looking for your magic man, for others of you, you're just trying to manifest new beginnings and new starts in your life here, and <clears throat> you're making it happen, okay? You're definitely making it happen. Let me see what else is coming here for you, Virgo. Oh, man, a card that was upside down, okay? I mean, that was um, right side up. So you've got the Seven of Wands here. You're definitely standing up for yourself, though. I don't know. you got your courage back and your strength. I feel like... Um, you're definitely not in doormat mode. You are, um, you're hesitant, a little bit hesitant. You are sussing people out and you will push back on anyone that after you've made an informed decision that somebody could be trying to take advantage of you, you are standing up for yourself. Um, like in a sense where you're being very, you're seeing things clearly in March. You can now, it feels like you're able to see the difference between, um, I don't want to say apples and oranges because apples and oranges are different. Uh, you're able to see the difference between two oranges that are from a different family. <laughs> I don't know what the heck, why am I talking about fruit? Um, you know, there's all kinds of different breeds of oranges right <laughs> and they all may be the same but there are slight differences so you're a bit more keen and aware that's the that's the energy you know the things that are are obscure and the things that aren't so obvious and weren't so obvious to you in the past um are now becoming more obvious you you have a sense of clarity and vision going forward okay so I, I like that I like it a lot and I feel like um, let's get a little bit more into this person what else can what else can you tell Virgo about this person okay so now we have the Queen of Swords so that as an energy this person is very truthful brings clarity um, this person is either divorced or widowed okay and um, as an energy this person shows up to me um, who's very self-sufficient um, and is like totally honest, like completely honest. And they expect nothing less than that from other people, okay? So it could be a Gemini, like I said, Aquarius, could be a Libra. They expect nothing else, but it feels more like an energy. Wow, I can't even believe it. I was thinking of the Justice card while I was talking about um, the truth, okay? Um, this person has an energy of things that are hidden they bring into the light. They, I don't know if they're psychic or they have um, some type of knowledge. 
I feel like you'll you'll sense this when you meet this person, um, where they have um, they have like this incredible insight, and and it's it's not like out of this world. It's just that this person is really good at sensing what's real and what's true. And I feel like you appreciate you will appreciate that because you're very much like that as well. You have very high senses for what's real and what's true, and even more heightened senses going forward. Like I was saying, having that clarity of vision. So I like this person's energy, and I'm picking up strong legal vibes. Strong legal vibes from this person. They they work in the legal system, or they have some kind of attachment. Okay, and this person has a strong, um, strong ancestry, family, wealth as well. Um, they're they're at the top of their game. I feel like this person um, has really they have really good roots, <laughs> um, very structured and very sturdy type of a person. And then I was like, I just heard someone say, what are they like a fuddy duddy? Are they like a prude? No, I don't feel that at all. I just feel like the things that are important to you, Virgo, this person possesses those traits. And I like this energy. And I feel like the longer that you um, come out of your comfort zone and, and not, the more you come out and not be fearful of getting into the same, um, into a negative relationship again the more you see the bones of this person and how sturdy and real and truthful and structured they are so i like that okay so we have the king of wands and the four of swords okay for some of you this could be like i said aries fire sign okay for some of you i just heard this is your massage therapist <laughs> um weird okay um, they bring peace when there is conflict and strife and struggle. So much confidence with this person. It's crazy. I mean, this person is like, it's not arrogance. There's a big difference. This is just someone who is very stable and secure. Might even be a little intimidating for some of you. Um, but this person is all about the healing. They don't like conflict. Like, I mean, they don't run from conflict, but they, they're they very good at diffusing conflict. So if there's an argument, if there's arguments, or, um, oh, they could be like a healer. They could be like a um, counselor or, or um, a therapist or someone who's in the healing modalities, whether that comes to like drug addictions or toxic situations. I mean, they're like a peacemaker. Just by their calm presence, I feel like this person brings peace. I don't know if I'm describing somebody that you already know or you're already talking to at this time, but I really like the energy of this person. Okay, what else do we want to say? What else do we want to ask Virgo? What's Virgo's advice going forward in the month of March? What's Virgo's advice in the month of March? Oh, <laughs> oh, gosh, I hope this card might have to block that. Virgo's advice going forward. You've got the tower. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Virgo, your advice going forward in March is to like destroy all that was negative, everything, build anew. You're being asked here to tear down that house, that crumply old house. And that's, I'm speaking figuratively, not literally. For some of you, maybe literally. Um, because I feel like with the tower, you know, something that was built on faulty ground um, needs to be torn down. It's kind of like a foundation that's cracked will not support the beams and the layers that are built up on top of it. You Sometimes you have to take tear down that whole house. Again, I'm speaking figuratively, tear down that old way of thinking. Everything that you've built up on some type of cracked foundation, tear that house down, repair, 
the foundation and rebuild again this is your advice here there's a lot of cracks in something in your past and you've built upon that as the years have gone by tear down all the um even if you've built positive things on top of a cracked foundation eventually if the foundation fully cracks open everything's going to crumble down i feel like your your advice here is to start over have fresh clean slate is what i'm hearing um rebuild the opportunity is coming for you okay and for some of you this will just happen on its own what other advice for virgo what other advice I don't know, that might have been, okay. There you go, oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> you guys, when the cards talk, the cards talk. Look at this. These are the beams. This is the 1111. These are the beams that are, that are built, you know, when you build a house, we build the foundation, we have to pour the foundation, and then we begin to frame out the house on a strong, strong, hard, solid foundation. You know, and, and then what does this lead to? This leads to family, community. This leads to possible marriage for some. Um, this leads to commitment. Um, families, friends, this could be a reunion, um, rebuilding a family, re you know, um, or building brand new again. Okay, tear down everything. Some of you are legit going to get money to rebuild a home perhaps after some kind of storm or something that might have happened. I just feel like I have a, a need to tell you that. Um, but some of you, there's an opportunity here to rebuild and end with someone who's an equal to you, someone that fits in your 1111 for sure. I love this, Virgo. I, I feel like you may have a little bit of hesitation going forward, and that's okay because a lot of you are learning to trust yourselves again and trust your intuition. Even for some of you, if this is you and another person that maybe you've known before, there could be a reunion. Um, for a small percent of you, percentage of you, there is this opportunity to rebuild again where both of you are going to work on tearing down the old and fixing the platform and the foundation so that you can rebuild again for some of you this opportunity is going to arise um, like i said it's a small percentage of you but for most of you this is like a whole new opportunity for you to get yourselves you're like a brand new person for some of you you really are you've made huge changes and you're just starting over wiping the slate clean and um, not letting um, fear of getting back into a negative situation you're not going to let that stop you um, because you know Virgo it's true that there are more good people in the world than there aren't and I feel like remembering that is really important you know you're not going to constantly come across the same person but you do have to protect yourself <laughs> all right let me see what other messages here are there for Virgo and I'm going to try to make this a little bit longer because I was not here yesterday and this is kind of um, a little bit of a singles reading so obstacles are being removed for sure obstacles are being removed and I love that energy the blocks are being removed in March for sure the water can start the dam is being released the water can start flowing again okay and there's that karma toxic story and new opportunities and family you know for some of you guys it's really all about rebuilding a family or a relationship with children that you may have and for others it's removing the blocks and healing a family situation for some of you it's like your your immediate family um, if there was some toxicity and stuff like that there's a new opportunity because this gigantic rock in the middle of the road is going to be removed you know and there's an opportunity to rebuild again here okay lesson is completed i just heard the lesson has been learned the contract has been fulfilled 
Okay, yeah, so you're definitely going to be getting some communication. There's going to be some texts, some phone calls, perhaps some online dating or connecting with others online. So I, would, I do feel expect to hear someone or meet someone um, or connect with someone again. You'll definitely be getting a message here or just having a new love connection. I feel like some of you are going to meet this person online. Some of you, um, yeah, there will be communication from someone that you had a family with. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay. Oh, friendship. Friends, acquaintances, and networking also. Some of you will be connecting with a friend. Um, there may have been someone in your periphery or past or connection with a friend where there's an opportunity to move it to a romantic uh, relationship and there may be hesitancy for some of you because I do feel like someone here might say could be you or another person there's hesitancy of like oh well if if we you know come together like that we're friends we could wind up ruining our friendship if things don't work out there's definitely hesitancy about that and for others, this is starting out as friends, someone that you connect with. And here you've got new love and things really beginning. That's the foundation. That's the foundation. And uh, starting as friends, that's a beautiful way to start a relationship, in my opinion, being friends first and then building the trust layer upon layer you know, having that strong bond and building the trust layer upon layer upon layer and cultivating that relationship more into becoming more romantic. You know, I love it. I just do. Oh, let me see what your messages of love are here. Whoa, true love. This true love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Wow, Virgo. I love it. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading for new love. Okay. Wow, I love this. Integrity. Does the situation along with your align with your values and morals? I do feel like it will. Okay. And I feel like that's the important question for you to ask. Not just is there chemistry, not just are there emotions or physical attraction, but are you two in alignment? right? Do you both share the same values and morals? That is so crucial that you have to be equally yoked on many levels. You can still be opposites in, in some areas, but you both have to be in, on the same page here. And that's the question. You know, it's not just like I said, it, um, the physical attraction, the chemistry, things like that. Um, there has to be also compatibility do you believe in the same things do you both have the same political affiliation um or somewhere along the same lines do you both um have uh are you compatible in the things that you both want like if one person only wants a friends with benefits and the other person wants a long-term relationship, then you're not compatible despite how you feel about each other, despite how well you get along. There has to be a similarity. Your spiritual beliefs, your moral beliefs, your um, a, a, some similarity in the way you live your lives because we're generally attracted to ourselves and another person. You know, we kind of look for what's familiar to us, which is what's familiar to ourselves. So the better that you know yourself, the better you'll connect with someone um, whom you want to have in your life. Okay. I feel like integrity is really important. All right. You also have twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. You know what, Virgo? This is... This is not the karmic twin flame. This is the healthy twin flame connection. This is what it's all about. This is what it's. This is what it looks like um, when you both finally come to a place where you recognize each other, and yet, like I said, being equal. That's what twins are. Being equally yoked, um, and you can call that whatever you want, how, or call it by another name. Um, I feel like it's the same thing. It's a divine relationship. It's. It's like a beautiful 
connection between two people. You light each other's fires. You know, um, the flame does not go out. One flame keeps another flame lit. You know, the energy and the power of the connection. I feel like, Virgo, you know, I'm not, I don't like to dilute the twin flame experience. The more we talk about it, the more we tend to think that every single person we meet is a twin flame. And I actually have um, an ebook that you guys can purchase on um, when you, let me see, where is it? <laughs> There's a link in the description box. It's called 11 Signs You've Met Your Twin Flame. And it also gives you signs at the end of the person who is not your twin flame that you might think it is. Twin flame isn't all, isn't only just about familiarity, okay? And I feel like there might be a little discrepancy. For some of you, if you meet this person and feel it, it's like, is this my twin flame? Or is this a karmic kind of thing, a, a karmic twin flame? And I, I love very much that you're going through the month of March really trusting your intuition and trusting yourself. Let me see their Chinese sign or yours to see. I really implore you to purchase my ebook. I'll leave a link below. It's only $11.11. .11, and you could just download it. It downloads right to your phone or um, it downloads to your desktop computer, however you get it. And you can read it right on the spot. It's, it's a... It, I don't know how many minutes it is to read it, but it's basically uh, pretty easy to read. So I do implore you, I do uh, strongly suggest that you check that out if you are not sure. Or you can always Google and read up about Twin Flame, but you'll get a lot of different versions. Do check out um, my version of that. All right, let's see. Let's see. Chinese signs of Year of the Ox. Okay, year of the pig. Now remember, this could be you, it could be the other person. Okay, year of the ox again. <clears throat> year of the rooster. Okay, year of the dog. Year of the tiger. Rooster again. Year of the rabbit. And rabbit again. <laughs> <laughs> and we are in the year of the rabbit, year of the snake. Okay, year of the horse, and they just said one more. Okay, year of the goat. Beautiful. All right, Virgo, let me get a couple extra Moon Pie Tarot messages to see what else there is for, well, for you to know. And we just had a fly. Okay, look, beautiful, hope. This is the star card. When you wish upon a star, it makes no difference who you are. All right, we have a Disney connection. Dreams come true. Your hope, faith, and wishes are being restored. And that's what I was saying here, Virgo. Make a wish right now, Virgo, and believe it is yours. So you can go ahead and pause the video or come back to it. Make that wish and believe you will have it or believe you already do. That's the law of attraction. All right, let's see. Another message for Virgo. This deck is also for sale. If you would like to purchase this, there's a link below as well. All right, you've got good news coming in about money. So this is awesome, Virgo. All right, look at how regret has fallen upside down in reverse. No more regret. Remember I was saying you have the um, you have the five of cups sideways. I feel like things are turning around and you're eventually going to come out or someone may not just be you it could be somebody else. You're eventually going to come out of any grief or remorse that you might be feeling. Um, coming out of it okay it's very beautiful so it that right there feels like there's forgiveness and hope returning there's recovery and some for some like a new outlook a new option coming to you and you're able to move forward you're moving on you also have family celebrations wedding or and or engagement party and that is the four of wands again okay so some of you yeah you might be going to a wedding or an engagement party um, or some kind of family celebration in March. I know we do have St. Patrick's Day. Some of you are going to be getting on the party bus. I don't know. Money in the bank in the reverse. So I feel like, you know what? This this is crazy. The, the message that I just got is like, 
The money in the bank in the reverse means there's no money in the bank, which means it's cash in hand. So somebody's going to be handing you like paying you cash for something. It's a it's like a lot of money, I feel like. Um and you're not going to have to claim any taxes because it won't be in the bank. <laughs> Virgo's like, yes, free money. Because money's not free ever. Yeah, free money coming to you. Somebody's paying you a good bit of money, cash, that you're going to be receiving. Okay, what else do you have? All right, some of you will be reevaluating your career. For some, you're in a job or some type of work situation where things are just not going well. There's arguments. You may be thinking of quitting or reevaluating your career in March. It may be time for you to start looking into that. You could be in um, a work or career situation that is just toxic. And for some of you, it's like, okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm going to start looking. Um, maybe for a different job or changing my career path or doing something differently for some going back to school, like really taking a look. You know, I have to say, if you're in a, if you are in like a work a career position where, um, you know, it's not going well and you spend the majority of your time at your job, for those of you who are like, you know, not say not working for home, from home or, um, some of you might work at home and it's difficult. <laughs> There's a lot of arguments where you're working from home and some of you might want to get out and go to work, but others of you, um, you are in a place that might be very toxic and it's kind of a drag to go there, to keep going there. You know, it's just, I don't know. I feel like maybe the money might be really good, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, but I can't deal with the, the issues or certain people or a certain person on the job. There's just nothing is changing. So I definitely feel like if you're, yeah, reevaluating career um, in March is something you might want to start thinking about here. Okay. Now, I, I also want to pull some Romance Angels messages. Let me see what else. Romance Angels, what do you have to say? Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding. True love again. Wow, Virgo, who's loving up on you in March? This is amazing. Holla, true love is coming in here, Virgo. This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow, I love this. That's twice. Virgo, I don't know. Get yourself like prepared. I feel like there's a love connection. Okay. All right. Now, I will say release your ex is here. It did flip out in the reverse. For some of you, I have to give the caveat. For some of you, it's not time to release your ex. Things are going to change or heal. Okay. Um, this basically means to me that there will be apologies and recovery after some type of a loss. Okay. Definitely a relationship healing, but for others, there is this, that's what this whole story is about. For others, this is releasing an ex, clearing out the energy and, you know, opening yourself up to a new love opportunity. Okay. So I know it kind of goes both ways. I don't mean to confuse you, but it did end up in, it did pop out in the reverse. So I feel it's real important to look at that. Okay. Um, let's push everything aside here and see if we can't get your numbers. What comes up for Virgo's numbers? All right, Virgo. So you've got Pisces and Gemini. You have Libra and Scorpio. Okay. We have 310, significant number. 490, another significant number. 732, significant number. And oop, 912 or 129 kind of like fell, like it's it flipped. For some of you, that's also... Um, Somebody's born on September 12th. Okay, let me see what September birthdays are. I'm also picking up 1970. Okay, September 3rd, uh, 9th, 10th. Um, I'm picking up August 30th. Um, 
September 11th and 12th. We have August 27th, the 23rd, and... So the 23rd could be August 23rd or September 23rd. Okay, so it's not either or, it's just the same. All right, let me see, a couple of more, nope. Now we have Sagittarius is showing up here. All right, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, and Libra. Okay, Aquarius, Aries, there you go. Gemini and Cancer again. Let me do one more. All right, Sagittarius, Pisces, Taurus is here now, and Gemini. All right, 1979, I just heard. Someone's born 1979. All right, let's get a charm. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is a monkey. Okay. That's a monkey or a baboon. Honestly, like I think. Hold on. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry, you guys. It's like some kind of a cat. <laughs> cat with his... He's twerking. <laughs> this cat. It's a cat with like their... You know when you like kind of like scratch a cat's back, they stick their butt up in the air? Yeah. Or maybe it's a kangaroo. You guys, I'm stumped. What is that? I cannot make that out. I'm thinking... At first I thought it was a monkey. Then I'm thinking... But kangaroo don't do that. It's a cat. He's got his butt up in your face. He's got a starfish up in your face. That's what this cat is. Okay. I don't know what's the deal. Maybe you're scratching your cat's back and they're sticking their butt up. Okay. Whatever. Weird kitty. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's interesting. This is a shooting star, you guys. So, yeah, make a wish. Definitely. But this also kind of feels like... All right. I just, I'm seeing a child... Or somebody, okay, I'm getting so many messages right now. This is crazy. This star, all right, uh, let me just give you the messages as they come. Okay. At first, the first thing I'm picking up, <clears throat> let me see how I can explain this. I'm just going to shut, I'm just going to say the words. I, I'm, pi I'm picking up someone that does this kind of crazy dance with the arms. Not crazy, but <clears throat> it's a new dance that the kids do. I, I don't know if you see that. Maybe you don't, but I do. Where they, they bend one arm and they stick the other arm out. I don't know what it's called. I think one of the YouTube emojis on here has that. It's really, I don't know what it's, oh, the, wait, is it dip or dub or something? I can't remember what it's called. And then I was also picking up a shooting star as well. I just keep getting like somebody's like also stepping out, you know, dipping their toe in the water here. Just a quick little testing the water I'm hearing. Okay, that's really interesting. Okay, also there is, let's see. <clears throat> now I wanted to say butterfly, but that looks more like a moth to me. That feels like a moth. I don't really know. The symbol of the moth is kind of like... I know some of you might know. I'm so bad at the charms anymore. It's like I've lost my memory. I have like short-term memory anymore. It, it kind of feels like it's, it's something... It's to do with a moth. Okay, I don't know. If maybe you have moths in your closet or something. I don't know. Or there's like you're sitting outside and you see a moth or something. And that's just indicative that this is your reading. But there's a strong element here of change for me. Um, I feel like it's Virgo. You're, you're coming into your own. But I feel like you're not giving yourself enough credit. You're like you're viewing yourself as perhaps the best you could be is moth status versus butterfly status. But I just really feel like you are making transition and change in your life at this time. And it's just taking 
Oh, sorry, you guys. And it's just taking a little bit of time. I mean, that might be like the biggest sign I've ever heard with that ring that just happened like that. I feel like that's really the message that's the most on point. You're not giving yourselves enough credit. You're, you're, you're viewing yourselves as not being... Maybe you're comparing yourself on social media or you're viewing yourself as not being as good as the others. But just remember everything you see on social, mir mir social media is curated on purpose and it's not real life. It's not really what it is. Do you know what I mean? Um, so if you're in that position, you know, try to remove yourself from that stop comparing just compare yourself to who you like where you've come from and how you've improved in your life okay I do get a sense that the first thing they were giving me looking at this was chocolate and peanut butter uh, somebody likes some t and it's weird because it's like a flower but the first thing I'm seeing is they gave me chocolate and peanut butter somebody likes chocolate and mixed with peanut butter it's like their go-to it's like their favorite chocolate and peanut butter it's like their favorite um if that's you virgo that's definitely a message here for you and you also have a black bow tie with a pearl so there's definitely something here very formal and these things are hard to hold on to there's definitely something very formal here maybe there's a formal coming up or you're going to um Oh, I feel like there's a black tie perhaps event coming up or you're going to a formal um, party of some sort where you really have to dress up. They're saying where you're wear a black, if you're, so if you wear dresses to wear a black dress gown of some sort with pearls, that is so classic. That's so breakfast at Tiffany's. I love that. Um, and if you're, someone that wears suits to wear like a black maybe you're going to a black tie event of some sort put a little iridescent um they're saying scarf in your lapel or or in your pocket there that's interesting maybe you've already done that or there's something here it feels very formal very very formal that i that i feel like you might be thinking about going to or you get an event to go to um or you're asked out on a date to attend one with someone so I really like that. I, I don't even know. Um, but I just, that energy, I just see it. It's very glitz ballroom kind of a thing. Um, it could be somebody's going to an opera or going to see a show as well. All right, there's tickets to some kind of formal event. And I just love it. So I'm going to leave your reading there. I'm glad we pretty much hit close to the hour tonight and um yeah i just want you guys to know i appreciate all the well wishes um i don't normally say this to everyone i mean the reading's over so if you want to click off that's fine but for those of you who knew um so you know what i just really i can't say it because my my channel might get demonetized if i say it so i'll try to leave a post in the community section um for the members only so if you are not a member of my channel yet i'm going to be changing the um price for the membership so almost all of you can join um at a reasonable price because i think the price that i have is too high but if you would like to be a member you can join my channel and then get access to all my private community tab posts that i make so i will put it in there to let you guys know what's been going on with me lately it's nothing serious but i just want to say thank you to everybody for um, your well wishes the other night when i was in the chat and uh yeah i'm just gonna leave your reading there don't forget if you want to get a personal reading there's a link in the description box below to get the reading do check out the twin flame ebook that i have available it's very inexpensive and it's a good little read and let's see what else that's it everything you need to know you can follow me on facebook as well all the links and everything is in the description box and i will see you all back here God willing, tomorrow, Virgo, I love you guys. Have a fantastic night, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.